Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching. This week's scrapbook layout is a Mother's Day layout because today is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day, Mum. You know I love you. So this is a picture of me, my mum and my sister. So I'm on the left, my sister's on the right and my mum's in the middle. It's quite an old picture. It's about 12 or 13 years old now, but it is a nice picture and my mum likes it. So I have done many, many scrapbook layouts with my mum and my sister and over the years, yes, lots. And she does have other ones. So... This one, though, is just a special and it's purple and, yeah, she really likes it. So that's why this video is coming out a bit later as well, just so that she didn't see it before she actually got it. So she's seen it now, so now the video can go up. So I'm just going through my papers here. I'm using the Mariposa paper pack by First Edition. I've pulled out a textured background paper pack from the range, which is that wood effect one. And then I also pulled out the purple one, which was like a grungy pack again i think that was from the works that one possibly or maybe it was the range as well anyway i'll find as many links as i can and i will share those so i'm just going around or going around i'm now just trying to decide which way i want to have my papers and the layout and i'm going for like a half and half so i've just cut that at six inches and i'm going to stick it across the half of that wood effect so i'm just sticking down my picture and framing it on this purple card stock or card or paper whatever it is it is it's more of a card now, the photo was already printed with a frame, so I didn't have to worry about obviously framing that first. So I'm just doing the purple and then I add a few bits to the layout to lift it as well. So that's my picture kind of all sorted out. And then I just play around again with how I'm going to have this. So I'm sticking that whole piece there. And like I said, that's going to go right across the top like so. As always, I end up changing this up halfway through and pulling things apart, but <laughs> like I, said, I never really know what I'm going to do. I have a slight idea, but then it always changes. So now I'm just bringing in this strip, which is one by 12, and that is going to go through the middle. Now, initially I lied it down. I thought, yeah, that looks nice, but I thought it's Mother's Day. It could do with something else. So I'm bringing in this really nice piece of lace. So it adds a real nice texture to the layout. So that goes down first. I'm using the red uh, line of tape here just because I'm using fabric and this is just super sticky so it worked perfectly get that all stuck down then I stick that strip back over the top so there's just a little bit of the lace poking out the top and then you get the real nice kind of scalloped edge along the bottom and it was just a nice little bit of interest to the layout which I liked pop a little bit of tape on the back and just fold over those edges there just so that they obviously don't get caught up with anything so now it's starting to come together a little bit better now this part here, I wanted to add a bit of shine to the wood effect. Now I hadn't used the pixie powders before. These are the Cos Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder and the Perfect Pearl Mist. So this is the range of mist that I'm spraying first, which is a very light purple. And I thought, yeah, it's all right. And then I thought, no, I'm going to throw in the pixie dust. Now I should have, I have used them before, but... Oh, yeah, I just should have played around with them a bit more because basically what it's done, it's really nice and it's super shimmery. It does exactly what it's meant to do and I love them. But I should have just really painted the whole of that background rather than do these little kind of areas like I'm doing here. I do move it around a little bit more, but you can see it just ended up being a bit of a... Bleh. <laughs> Now, saying that, I do still really like it and it actually looks worse with the camera light shining on it. When you see it in real life, it isn't that bad. It's actually just really shimmery. And, you know, it, I think it's just me again, kind of nitpicking. But once I added loads of other things to the layout, you, you don't really take any notice of it anyway. So, yeah, that's what I've done there. I think now going forward, I'll just use the pixie dust on its own and actually brush it right over. So I'm just using some washi tape. I use the silver and then like a thin purple through the middle. Now, because I'd added so much kind of moisture to the paper it warped really badly so I wanted to attach it to another piece of cardstock to really kind of flatten it all again so this is where I decide to change the orientation so I actually wanted the wood effect at the top and then the floral at the bottom so fortunately I could peel that all off okay so now I'm just um, adding this adhesive runner tape to the whole background there and then I'm just going to stick that down with a I cut half an inch off the top and half an inch off the bottom so now when I stick it on that white you see a little bit of the white coming through the top and the bottom so again it just gave a little bit more something something to the layout so yeah I preferred it that way round 
because then what I was thinking I was going to do would work better with having that planar section at the top rather than at the bottom. So I just popped some foam adhesive back on the photo again and now I'm just getting that all stuck down. These are the Simply Creative Silver Alpha stickers. So they're a, they're a nice size. Um, there are larger ones and there are smaller ones. This is, I think, again, the medium ones. So my title is A Mother's Love, which I thought was perfect for Mother's Day. And then I do add the word everlasting in the middle as we go through the layout. So these flowers here, this was a pack of bridal petals. So they're silk petals that I picked, picked up in a charity shop for 99p. These will be shared on my What Did I Get video next week in more detail. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using my cropper dial and just cutting some holes through or punching some holes through the, the fabric there. And then with a brad, I feed that through the middle. And you can see there, I make these lovely little flowers and they looked really, really good. You'll see them in the still pictures at the end, but I was really pleased with how they turned out. There are hundreds in that pack because they're like really like kind of stuck together, like pushed together, a bit like paper flowers. So you peel them all off. So there's loads in there. So I've used those really kind of glittery, sparkly brads in the middle and it looked really nice. This is the kind of coated paper glitter roll that I brought from B&M a couple of weeks ago so I'm just framing that underneath the left and the bottom side of the photo that's why again I like to put the photo on foam adhesive so I'm able to still add things and kind of you know nestle them underneath the photo so now I'm just sticking that all down with my hot glue because it's fabric and the brad the metal brad and everything I just thought I use the hot glue for quickness as well as you know you know make sure it's nice and secure so adding uh, quite a bit of glue to that and then those paper leaves as well just kind of really help make it look more real and um, more finished and it looked really nice having that one smaller one towards the top left and then the large one right down in the bottom right hand side there now these are all my paper flowers these yellow ones are new there's actually new yellow and pinky colored ones in the works again you'll see them in my video next week but they look really nice with this layout they've complemented the purple perfectly and they bring out the yellow that's actually in the paper as well so I really loved it when I started to bring in that yellow colour. And then I've got cream smaller ones as well, which I've added in. And I think that just helps balance out all that purple. Now that I'm bringing in the acetate butterflies, I've had these for ages. I brought them way, way back ooh, a couple of years ago now. And I just keep adding to them. I love them. So I think I've got five in total. I've got the large one at the top, another large one at the bottom. And then I use these smaller ones around, all kind of around the flowers as if they're going down to, you know, sit on the flowers and have a little rest. And I thought they looked really nice. And they're so dimensional. You've probably seen these in many, many tutorials. I love using those. Okay, so now I'm just sticking down that title. The adhesive on these, as I've said in most of my videos, is just not very strong at all. So I just add a little bit of wet glue onto the backs. If you do get any wet glue on any kind of foiled letters or anything like that, just let it dry, as I always say. And then with some kitchen towel or some toilet paper, just go over and buff it off and it will come up perfectly and it will remove all of that stickiness. These are some metal hearts, which again, I picked up recently from the works. They are really nice. Like I said, they're metal. They're real kind of like bubble effect. So they add loads of dimension and they look really good. So I've added three to the left there and then I think two to the right hand side. And the silver hearts again, just work perfectly with the silver letters there and everything else. Then I'm bringing in this trusty box of subtitles, which I love. I bring in one, oh, precious, life's precious moments or precious something. It's such a small screen that I'm looking at and actually my, my mum's now got the layout. So you'll be able to see them close up anyway. I bring in Everlasting, which goes underneath the mother's, a mother's everlasting love. That one's one of a kind, I think. You've got, I can't remember the rest, but anyway, you can see them all there. They're just lovely. And I like to use these, you know, just to kind of add in to the kind of, blank areas on the layout so now I'm finishing off with my Nouveau drops so I bring in two colours this one and the glitter white colour as well just to you know just to fill it up the more the merrier I say and that is the layout done so I hope you enjoy it I hope you like my floral purple loveliness I really enjoyed doing this one and that's all that counts I enjoyed it and my mother loves it so here are now the more vibrant coloured pictures I think it looks really lovely. You can see that lovely acetate butterfly there. I did end up adding some Winker Stella as well onto the, or no, Spectrum Glitter Pen actually it was, to the fabric flowers and they turned out beautiful. So yeah, so that's everything from me this week, guys. I will be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. Have a lovely Mother's Day. Take care. Bye.